In this video, we provide the solution to question number two for practice exam number one for Math 1030, in which case we're asked, given this graph that you see here to the right, which of the following edges is a bridge? Now, there's two ways you could approach this problem. We could just go looking for the bridges inside the graph and see uh, see if we can find them all, or we can just go probably process of elimination, go through these and see which of these are bridges. I'm gonna take that second approach here because the graph actually could have more than one bridge um, in it. And it, uh, this graph definitely has more than six edges. So I'm just gonna check to see which of these are. Remember a bridge is an edge, which if removed would disconnect the graph. So if we are looking on this graph here, look at AX. If I remove AX, then it turns out the graph is still connected um, you, you can reach every other vertex that's still available. Like in particular, you can get anywhere. So AX is not the is not the bridge. What about BY? If you remove BY right here, notice how the graph is still connected. Um, in particular, B can still reach every vertex it could before, and so BY is not the edge there. That's a bridge. If you look at CX, something similar is happening. If you take out CX, you can actually still get from C to X if you detour through B. So it's not going to be a bridge. Um, BX, same thing there. If you take away BX, you can still get to from B to X like so. And so since there still is a path from B to X, that means the graph has to still be connected. What about XY here? If you take away XY, I can still get from X to Y, and therefore, since there's still a path from X to Y, you cannot be a bridge. Um, if we're moving an edge, if it were to disconnect the graph, it means those two edges, are, there's no longer a path between them. If you can still find a path from the from the two vertices you remove the edge from, it means it wasn't a bridge. So by process of elimination, it looks like it's gotta be F, but let's just check it. If you were to remove F, uh, excuse me, not, uh, answer F, which is AZ. If you took away AZ, then aha, the vertex Z would be isolated from the rest of the graph. There is no path between A and Z anymore. And therefore, it turns out F is, in fact, the correct answer. We perhaps could have found that out earlier um, by looking at the graph, but because it turns out that's the only bridge that's on this graph. But nonetheless, F is the correct answer. AZ is a bridge and the other five are not.